Hey, 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 all you out there surfing the YouTubes, this is Pastulio's Rage coming at you with episode 6 of my Let's Play Minecraft series. And it has been a little while since my last video, but for all you people who are new and all those people who are returning viewers, welcome to the Rage Cage. Welcome to Pastulio's Rage's channel, where all I do is play with mods and stuff, because, you know, I think it's a lot of fun, but... Just recently, I made some friends over on a Minecraft server that is uh, for vanilla Minecraft. It's actually called the Sabadog Nation server. And uh, pretty much found out that uh, vanilla Minecraft isn't boring. It actually, it's really cool if you know how to play with it correctly. So uh, pretty much I made some friends over there, and one of which uh, took me on a tour of their house and whatnot and showed me how it is really cool to be a Minecraft vanilla builder, and that would be Sandrux, that's right. Hey Sandy, it's Pastulio saying, what's up? You know, pretty much uh, she went and took me around her house, showed me everything, and showed me that, well, Minecraft is not boring. Whenever it's played only on vanilla servers. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing a, a video on that server too. But you know, we'll we'll see what you guys think and whatnot a little bit later on down the road. But anyways, let's get this let's get this party started. I have a creeper on my freaking roof. Seriously, get 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 down from there, you jerk. Where is my rapier? All right, cool, got my rapier. Cause I do not want him killing me. Oh, don't you dare freaking blow up. Oh, oh, that's bull crap. Ugh. No, jeez, man, what a mess. And I was nowhere close to him. Ah, whatever. Where's all my dirt? And you can see I took a little quick trip to the nether. And the funny thing is, is that apparently I've been having some problems with fraps and whatnot lately, and I don't know why, but it's pretty much being stupid. Oh, jeez, what a mess. I gotta clean this up. Yeah, these creepers, for some reason, are, like, supercharged in this mod pack, for some reason. They're just like, yeah, creepers, you know how hard they are? Yeah, let's make them harder. Let's make them to where when they blow up, it's like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Ugh, just atomic bomb. I don't mean that in a negative way, please. Don't think of that as something negative, like I'm against, uh, you know, like... I have anything against, you know, Japanese people or whatnot. But, uh, or that, that I'm not sensitive to the World War II tragedies and whatnot, but that, that is not the case, no. I'm just mostly just talking about atomic bombs and stuff, so. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Alright, there we go, there we go. Alright, that looks decent. Well, you know, I'll put this right here. But anyway, I wanted to go to the nether, I wanted to do some adventuring in the nether, but pretty much I don't have everything I want to, to go do that, so you know what? I'm gonna pretty much decide to scrap the idea that I had in the last three times I tried recording this episode. I'm gonna go to the Twilight Forest. Why not? Let's go to the Twilight Forest. Let's go do some really cool stuff. So, anyway, let's go ahead and throw my dirt and all this garbage in here. Let's go ahead and we'll put this in my mining chest. Oh, I got another shard of minium. That's not a, that's not a bad thing. Wait a minute. I got eight shards of minium now. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a minium stone. That actually sounds pretty cool. Minium stone. There we go. Nope, that's a minium shard. We need a minium stone. Okay, and first I need an inert stone, so I need four pieces of smooth stones, four iron, and a gold bar, which I can definitely do. See, here's my gold bar, and here is my one, two, three, four... Right there, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some cobble. I think I have, yeah, I have two pieces of smooth stone in here, because I made a redstone repeater in the last episode. I will show you why in just a moment. All right, let's go ahead and get those. And while those are cooking up, I'll show you what I pretty much was doing last episode. I mean, add between this episode and last. But you see a strange lever on the wall, and you see some strange blocks, and you see that this hole is all filled up. Well, click. Bam, check it out. It is a secret entrance to my to my basement. Best part is, it's like, wait a minute, I can't just keep myself exposed. Well, splodink, there you go. It is completely covered, completely hidden, and only I know how to get in. And these levers have nothing to do with it. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, <laughs> I pretty much have been working on this. This is pretty much something from Tinker's Construct. It's a drawbridge. Really cool way to like, you know, to do things. You can actually take this block out. And that's what it looks like but I can disguise it, but for some reason it's gray whenever it gets this texture in, so that's pretty much okay. So anyway, let's go get our smooth stone out of my box. 
And all right, let's go ahead and make ourselves our inert stone. It was what uh, four pieces like this, two and four pieces like that. Wow, why is my mouse flubbing up? All right, got give me an inert stone, and I'm gonna surround this, and that gives me a minium stone. Oh yeah, baby. Amazing thing about this minium stone. I will tell you what. Check this out. See, Equivalent Exchange is one of my favorite mods because, honestly, I don't like having to go after a lot of mobs in some cases. So what I'll do is I'll just plack this here and see you can get a nugget of gold. But the cool part is, check this out. You put four in, you get yourself a freaking ender pearl. How cool is that? So... I'm gonna get myself a stack of ender pearls. You know, and you see the minimum stone takes a little bit of damage, but you know that is okay. And check that out. Didn't even have to go to the end. Didn't even have to do a whole lot. Some, like I say, some people say the end that uh, you know, equivalent exchange is overpowered. But like I said, I think it's just overpowered enough to where you know it's like okay, there we go. Alrighty then, that's pretty much part of the you know part of what I was doing. But okay. Let's go ahead and we need to get ourselves some wood so we can start making ourselves up some torches because if we are going to go to the scary place that is the Twilight Forest, we are going to need ourselves plenty, and I mean plenty, of torches. So, alright, let's go ahead and we'll get ourselves... Boom. Big tree, no longer a issue. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and let's just uh, make them here in our inventory. Shablading. Okay, go some some sticks. Go ahead and put these up here. We'll go this way, go that way, okay. And we'll run back to the house. We'll make sure we have plenty of torches before we leave. You know, and I know there's a few torches over here that I could like, you know, steal. So I can steal this one here too. Because, you know, those aren't entirely necessary. I mean I had a ton of torches over there. You know, I should check and see what um Hmm. Don't think there's any places for mobs to spawn in my general area. Yep. We're in good shape. No worries. I will take that off and leave that off for right now. So, okay. Here we go. Um, don't think I have any more coal just sitting around. And here's some more torches. Cool. So, okay. We got ourselves some torches. I got some flint and steel. I don't really need that. I kind of I kind of brought it with me in the nether just so I could have some stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a stack of cobblestone just because. And okay, I'm also bringing my portal gun with me because, seriously, you do not want to leave home without it. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's go on a twilight adventure. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just remember the twilight forest, you know, being really cool, seeing a lot of really nifty stuff. So, okay, first things first. You plunk this down. <laughs> Do not forget your portal on your way out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run around a little bit and I'm going to find some things here. Because I like going on adventures, but unfortunately I don't like you know, whenever adventures get boring. So I'm going to try to see if I can find something relatively quickly. And if I can't, well, we'll just abandon it and go home. So, Because <laughs> we have a quick, easy way to do that. So, All right, well, this is looking pretty sweet so far. I love the way that this terrain looks and whatnot because so many cool things. I do need to get myself one of those nifty little maps and oh I am lagging. Oh, had a little lag spike right there. <laughs> it's okay, no big deal. Oh yeah, this is like called like a... Okay, I think it's called what a, uh, a can... A, a, like a canvas? Uh, like an o over canvas or uh, forest here? Let's see, what's, what's it called? Um, dar oh, it's a dark forest. Oh boy. Gonna go exploring in the dark forest. Wow, this is spooky right here. I don't know how dark that is. I do apologize if it is extremely dark, but here let me put some put some stuff down here. It's a dark forest. Look at that. Oh man. This is spooky. Oh bo oh snap, look at this. Look at this. We've got ourselves a little ravine running through the middle here. That's pretty sweet. All right, man, that dark forest. Yeah, that's not kidding when I said dark forest. Yeah, dark forest. Very nice. All right, so hey, it's a good thing I had that. And all right, let's go ahead and run over here. There's some people I know that like to uh, actually mine in the, uh, 
know, in, in the Twilight Forest, and you can see, kind of see why. They got some pretty nice ores here. And, oh, that, oh that's like, oh, that's right, that's a, that's a torch bush right there. Let's go ahead and let's go get that. Let's go get that torch bush. Cool thing about these torch bushes is that they, uh, they, they honestly, they just work just like a torch. That's why I brought this material with me. Good stuff. This is not what, we're, what we came for, but torch berries. And we can actually grow our own torches now. I mean, our own torch, uh, torch bushes. I think there was a better way I could have done that, but <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. So, all right, let's continue on here. See if we can find something else that's really sweet. Okay, we got ourselves a herd of deer. And I'm sorry, buddy, but I want your hat. Oh, no, 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 come back here, come back here. No, no, don't run, don't run, don't run. It's okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, we got ourselves an iTunes hat. Very cool. You know, he's actually the uh, author of the Portal Gun mod. He's also the same guy who's working on, uh, was it, uh, it's a mod called Morph. That's, like, really cool looking. In. What the heck? Oh, another lag spike. Come on. There it goes. I got myself some smooth stone just randomly sitting here. That's odd. Oh, it's enough with the with these lag spikes. Come on. Okay, good deal, good deal. And you know what? I'm gonna see if I can dig this out from above it and see if we can get the whole bush. Or is it just gonna give me the berries? Yeah, it's just gonna give me the berries. That's okay. You know, cause I don't I don't know if we can eat these. Can we eat these? No, we can't eat them. Guess we gotta just plant them or something okay. huh. I don't know what to do with these torch berries I just remember seeing them heard we heard about them being used once or twice or maybe we can make something with them you know, let's, let's let's look it up here uh, whoops not that one let's see here uh, bring up my NEI and let's put in torch oops oh, let's just put in berries and see what happens torch berries well it doesn't say anything <laughs> It just shows me the berry. <laughs> hmm. In the immortal words of Peter Venkman, that I do it. Thanks very much, Egon. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. That I do it. Thanks very much, Ray. Wow, I almost disappointed myself there. Whoops. <laughs> like that I do it. Thanks very much, Ray. Yeah, that. Uh, I'm just so pretty much <laughs> just trying to figure out something. That's things are getting a little boring now. All right. Ooh, would you look at this? Got ourselves some ores on the top floor here, but also we got ourselves some, some sort of pillars over here. Mossy cobblestone pillars? This is kind of cool. I don't know what it's for, but that is actually pretty sweet. All right, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just get some of this coal here because I might as well since, I mean, this adventure really isn't going the way I want it to go because... I don't have one of those nifty little uh, uh, maps that you can get, and because you get this map and it shows you where all the boss mobs are, where all the uh, all these things are. But this is like a stone plant. We'll do a little mining while we're here. Why not? It's really not why I wanted to come here, but that's okay. But uh, you know, how about how about I uh, I tell a story? Let's see here. Let me talk about a story. Okay. Um. Speaking of forests and whatnot, I used to, when I was a kid, go uh, camping up in Washington State at a little uh, a little place called Mount Baker. For all you people that are in the uh, the Washington area, if anybody watches this in the future and whatnot, I used to, I used to go uh, camping at this little tiny uh, lake called called Baker Lake. And oh man, lag spike! Oh my God! Oh, don't tell me I froze. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, that was a huge lag spike. Wow. I couldn't even move. Well, anyway, yeah, I used to go to a little place called Mount Baker, and we'd always camp out at uh, Baker Lake. And I remember my cousin Tony decided that he wanted to go water skiing for the first time. And <laughs> honestly, if you've never seen anybody water ski for the first time and you're wanting to watch it, you should. Like, YouTube it. Find out what somebody looks like whenever they have no clue how to water ski, and you will get the biggest kick out of some stuff. Because this guy, he tries it and just face plants. Like, d d it doesn't even, you know, it doesn't even have a chance to move. Oh, come on. Not another lag spike. Okay, here we go. I'm getting these, like, really bad lag spikes right now. It's probably just because I'm in a different dimension, and it's kind of whining, but... 
Anyway, yeah, I just remember him. He's about to get up. Everyone's thinking, oh, it's going to be his first try water skiing. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Next thing you know, all you hear is him go, ah! And then you hear just a big splash. And like a cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And it all goes silent. And I remember everyone's like, is he okay? <laughs> like, everyone's like, yeah, is he okay? And, ooh, I actually hear a... Uh, I think I finally hear a monster of some type here. Things might be getting interesting. Uh, and I don't see anything interesting. <sighs> Dang it. Well, I am getting hungry here. Oh, I'm finally hearing it. I didn't know there were mobs here. Maybe they can't spawn in the overworld here. Oh, uh, well, you know. Yeah, well, we'll come back for that. Anyway, so he... <laughs> Ooh. I heard it again. They're like a... Hello? Housekeeping? Housekeeping, you want for a towel? <laughs> yeah, this looks like a little uh, little cave down here. Some, I guess some gold down there. Yeah, let's, uh... Ouch! <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> that hurt. Right. Oh, where's my? Oh, there's my pickaxe. I'm like, where's my pickaxe? I'm not used to it being a different color. Like I said, I've, I've been playing on a vanilla Minecraft server, and I all the tools look the same to me now. I'm not used to my Tinker's Construct tools. Okay, here we go. Here we go. On to business. On to glory. Grab this here. Oh, more gold. And some, and some coal too. Oh, what is this? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's go down here. Well, we can't go too far because we don't want to get lost. So, oh yeah, see the torch berries are giving off that uh, just a little bit of light. All right, cool stuff. Good deal. Lapis. Heck yeah, I love me some lapis because I want to put more, more looting and stuff. Because the thing is, if you put lapis on a, on a pickaxe, you get uh, you get luck. You put it on a sword, you get looting. So, ha ha. Well, that wasn't much of a. That wasn't very cool. I thought there was going to be something sweeter than that, but... Okay. Well, anyways, everybody, it's pretty much about that wrapping up point. I set myself an alarm so I wouldn't go too far over, so let's go ahead and... Let's get... Oh, no. <laughs> I just pretty much got myself lost now. I am now officially stuck here, so... That is okay. Um, pretty much this is a good place to wrap up the episode anyway. Nothing big is going on, so... Anyways, everybody, this is Postulio's Rage signing off on episode 6 of my Let's Play Minecraft series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little boring, you know, just kind of showing you what I've been up to. And just wanted to put it out there, kind of talk to you guys a little bit, go on a quick adventure. But I have to pretty much find my way back to... <laughs> <laughs> to my to my area there. So, anyways, if you like this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't like it that much, well, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is my first video in a long time, and I was having a lot of problems with Fraps. So, anyways, but if you really enjoyed it, you know, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button because you know I'm up to eight. And welcome new subscribers, welcome back old subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And until next time, everybody, later's. <laughs>